Where are we going so early in the morning? Well, we're going to the aquarium. See, uh, Leah's going to show us this new saltwater tank. It's pretty awesome. I think you'll like it. Well, I want to do something all too. Right, all right, you're working the camera. I'm doing the interview. We'll talk about the rest later. All right. Um, Off we go. Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and I'm here at Knoxville's premier aquarium vendor, The Aquarium, aptly named. And I'm here with Leah. Hi. Uh, and we're going to talk about the Red Sea Max uh, S Series. This is the, the middle tank, the 500. It is an amazing piece of technology. And uh, what can you tell me about this aquarium? What stands out about this versus other uh, is it, does it come in a kit? I mean, is it all of this stuff? Is it is actually all inclusive. The only thing you won't receive with this when you purchase it is everything inside. The sand, the live rock, the coral, the fish. It is designed to be the top of the line reef system to where you don't have to buy any upgrades. It is already exactly what it needs to be. The aquarium itself has low iron glass, which is going to have premium quality as far as being able to see into the aquarium compared to others. It has three stream pumps for returns in the back as well as the return pump from the sump below and an auto top off system which is probably my favorite feature which is right back here in this corner so you don't have to fill your sump as often. Comes Do you up. put fresh water in the um, top off system? Yes. With the salt water tanks you actually do have to use fresh water in the auto top offs. Okay. Um, salt doesn't evaporate so you want to use fresh water to top off with to keep your salinity in check. What kind of light is this? This is a tin lamp T5 fixture. Um, it has plenty of light on it. A lot of people complain with T5 lights that you can't get the exact color of LEDs and the color doesn't pop. Obviously that's not the case. You can't actually get the color, you just have to have enough of the lamps. Um, Red Sea's argument behind using T5s is you just can't get the technology for the money that you can um, with T5s versus LEDs. If they put a uh, LED light on this system, it would be $2,000 more per system oh. just for the LED technology versus the T5s that are in here. Do they offer an LED option if you wanted to go that Not way? at this time. Really? They, they said that maybe in the future, but right now they're really happy and we're actually really happy with the color too of the T5. Well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Exactly. It's certainly a beautiful, beautiful and bright uh, illumination here. So is this specifically made for corals, these light colors? That Yes, it is designed to be a ultimate reef aquarium. Um, we have seen some people do fish-only tanks with them, but it, it's kind of a waste, actually. Um, the, when you have the technology to do a reef tank, it's silly to put anything else in there. But the colors are specifically designed of the lamps. And if you kind of peek under, you can see a little bit. It's hard to, yeah. hard to see, but you have different color lamps to bring out all of the color in the, in the aquarium. Now, it, is it sort of a modular system underneath? There are things you can add and take away, right? Uh, there's like one addition, once again designed to be the ultimate reef system, no upgrades needed. There's only one thing you can add and that's room for a chiller. We actually placed our own dosing pump over here. Um, that would be where the chiller would go. We oh, decided okay. a dosing pump was more necessary. Our temperature is regulated by itself. We don't have the need for a chiller. So we just use that area for something that makes more sense to us. One really nice feature about the Red Sea that I really like is this little drawer here. And if we slide this out, you actually have a drawer that has all of your plugs in it. And all of the plugs have switches on the front. So wow. you can completely control everything in here and then have it all labeled and then simply close and shut. Tells you your little chart of which plug is which. That is really cool. And then on the front, you have all of your switches where you can manually control and shut off everything without having to unplug or plug up surge protectors and everything in there. You have a timer where you can set everything. You have three settings on the timer. You have off in the center, timer, and on, which we were a little early this morning, so we went and switched everything on for us. That's a fancy little cover so nothing can go up against it and yeah. accidentally change the settings. That's a big you. problem with the ones on the wall, isn't it? It is. It is definitely a problem when you have the timers on the wall. So once again, this dosing pump does not come with it. But this is the sump over here. Full glass sump. Um, comes with the C1800 protein skimmer. I'm sorry for the 
condition of it. The <laughs> well so system gets a little bit dirty. Um, fully glass has baffles to keep constant level for the skimmer. Very quiet. Um, one thing I love about Red Sea Systems is they use the CJ pumps. We fully support the CJ brand. We're definitely the quietest on the market as far as noise goes. Um, and then they're reliable too. Very energy efficient. Very, very cool. So, uh, what is the retail price for a setup like this? So this is the S500 in the uh, marine blue, I believe, and it is going to be the retail is forty-seven fifty on this particular one. In black for the same aquarium would be forty-four ninety-nine. The smallest tank is thirty-nine ninety-nine, with the colors being forty-two fifty, and the largest aquarium is. The black tank is $49.99 with the colors being $52.50. They charge a slight upcharge for the colors, which I'm really disappointed. You can't tell this one's more blue. <laughs> we were really hoping that you could see the blue and not so much. Oh, it, it does have a little it slight is. It's blue. It's supposed to be like a navy blue. Huh. But you don't see that very much. Anymore. I can never tell the navy blue shirts from the black yeah. shirts. It looks really blue in the catalog. That makes sense. <laughs> So tell me, uh, is this the most expensive aquarium setup that you guys carry? Hands down. Um, for its size, it is the most expensive. We can get more expensive going larger, obviously, but for the size, it is going to be the priciest option for it. Oh, did we talk about that? What size is this? This one the is, um, right? this is the S500. It's 135 gallons combined. So okay. you have uh, roughly, I think like a 110, 115 gallons in the tank, I believe, and then space in the sump would be more of 120 up top. Um, your reservoir in the back also counts right. in total as well. Um, so they do have the three sizes. One thing I really like is the lights on that if you want to how they flip up for maintenance. So when you flip up, you have four lamps in the front, four lamps in the back, two lamps in the middle. And your timers actually, actually can control your eight lamps on the edges as well as your two lights in the middle so you don't have too many lights on at once. And these are on a hinged switch. So when they shut off, they don't blind you, right. um, which is oh. really nice when you're cleaning because if these lights were still on right now, it would be impossible to see down in here to clean. So when um, you open this, it switches the lights off. So, oh, that is yes, so nice. That's really nice. I have those Eclipse aquariums, and every time I open Flip them, it. I can't see anything. For Absolutely. They're right in your face. So these actually will shut off, and then you close it right back down. Wow. Right that's back on. The back really does the cool. same thing. Um, so when you're filling the auto top off, you don't get blinded back there as well. And that get bleach on it. So that's really nice. That is Hot super. Hot. super the, cool. the reason they built the power heads into the back is so you don't have things in the aquarium crowding up. Um, those are once again three CJ pumps powering those returns back there to where you don't have big clunky stream pumps for extra water flow in the aquarium clouding up the, the look you're trying to get. So when you say it, uh, does it automatically top off? Does it sense the water level and then? It does. It has um, this chamber back here we keep full. This is the auto top off chamber. You have this okay. little area here, but we actually fill it to the top because it doesn't overflow. It's silly for us to only fill it here when we need to put water in daily. Sure. As human yeah. as it is in here. Yeah. Um, and it will actually sense in the sump when the level drops down and drop water down. That is really cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. Getting thank up you early. Promise on a uh, Saturday morning <laughs> and hanging out with me and uh, talking to our viewers, uh, who I'm sure are very interested to see some saltwater stuff. I have no saltwater things on my, uh, on my channel. So <laughs> thanks so much for showing us well, your thanks. beautiful aquarium. And uh, we'll be back next week for more videos. Talk to you soon. Love and thing with me and like dance for your food, I'm like no. just just cancel my ticket.